to all of you joining us today in prayer at the God Minute. Thank you for the time. Thank you for sharing your heart and your spirit as we lift them now to the Lord in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and And my my mouth mouth shall shall declare your praise. praise. Psalm 3, a morning song. Lord, every day I have more enemies. Many people fight against me. They say about me, God will not save him. But Lord, you are like a shield for me. You are the one who gives me honor. You lift my head up high. I called aloud to the Lord. He answered me from his holy mountain. I lie down and I sleep. Then I wake up because the Lord takes care of me. Even if 10,000 enemies are all around to attack me, I will not be afraid of them. Lord, stand up. My God, save me from my enemies. Lord, it is you that saves us. You bless your people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verse 13. Jesus said to the disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But a salt loses its taste. With what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Salt is an extremely stable compound and can't actually lose its saltiness. Salt is always salt, unless it's diluted in a large amount of water. Salt in food serves one purpose, to enhance the taste of the food. Alone, it has a distinctive flavor, which sets it apart from all else. Jesus tells us that we are to be the salt of the earth. We are called to stand apart, to be distinctive, not for the sake of being different, but for the sake of being transformative. In truth, salt is only beneficial when used in small amounts. For me, I add a bit of salt to the grounds before brewing my coffee. This takes away the bitter taste. On the other hand, what about soup made with too much salt? It can't be eaten. It has to be thrown out. Salt needs to be used sparingly. In fact, recipes often call for just a pinch of salt. A pinch is minuscule, yet very necessary. Without that pinch, The food is flavorless. When Jesus tells us that we are to be the salt of the earth, he is inviting us to adopt small gestures, simple words, gentle touches. Jesus is telling us that sometimes following him involves actions 
that are not very big at all. For example, giving a helping hand to a parent with two crabby children who's trying to grocery shop, or letting another driver in during rush hour traffic, or discouraging friends who are gossiping, or sitting in silence with a friend who's just received painful news. Loving possibilities abound. Let's ponder the ramifications of this message from Jesus. If we are called to be salt, and salt adds flavor, does my faith enrich my life and the lives of others? Salt also preserves. What is God calling me to do to help preserve the love of Jesus for future generations? Salt can keep our feet from slipping on ice. Am I helping others from slipping in their faith walk? Finally, salt makes us thirsty. How can I live my life in such a way that it makes people thirsty for God? If we look at our lives, are there signs that we are salt? We are different? Do other people see something distinctive in the way we love our families, care for our neighbors, treat strangers? Let's sincerely strive to be a pinch of salt. And as we do, let us ask God, our Father, for the help and the inspiration as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father of all that is most beautiful, warm our hearts to help us give generously to salt the earth with little moments of charity and kindness. For as we do, we lift you before others in majesty and make our world just a little better. We ask through Christ our Lord. Thank you for being with us in prayer today. And I don't know about you, friends, but I really love that reflection from Sister Carol. I couldn't help but think of the line from Mother Teresa, you know, when she says, What glorious things can come from a single kind word or gesture? Indeed, just a little sprinkle here or there can do amazing things. Sister Carol, thank you. And to all of you, may God's blessing rest upon you this day in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And let's go out now as she encouraged us, sprinkle some goodness, friends, upon others today, and let's flavor the world with the majesty of God. And we'll see you tomorrow.